Oh my god, she's crawling. She's about to crawl. Go puppy, go! Go puppy. <gasps> oh. oh. You see yourself? Do you see yourself? Say hi. So it is currently, what time is it, Josh? It, it is, is three o'clock. It feels like it's much later. It yeah. is getting dark by like four o'clock here. Yeah, it's it's kind of <laughs> terrible. Um, we love this time of year, holiday season, but here in this area, I mean everywhere, it gets dark at like 4.30. Um, kind of depressing. <laughs> kind of depressing. And we are doing today's video because this is my number one requested questions, DMs on Instagram, Poppy's nighttime routine. I talked about it before and I like sat down, but I, we physically never showed us doing it. So we thought we would just bring the camera along and show everything of our night. We're going to bring it along and we're going to show everything of our night. Are you just going to copy everything I say this whole video? Yes. So this video, it's probably gonna have terrible lighting. Um, that's kind of why I feel like we put it off because we're like nighttime, how yeah. do we film? But you guys wanna see it, so we're gonna try our best. Um, we had my mom today, so she helped out with Poppy. Poppy had swim lessons. This is the first one you didn't go to. This is the first time I missed one of her lessons, but I was working on our new <laughs> intro. intro. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a chaotic video because our nights are pretty chaotic. So it's three o'clock now. We start <sighs> food around like five. five. <laughs> <laughs> we stick to the same schedule every night. I think this is the number one thing we can say. Like this schedule is pretty much every single night. Yeah. Um, we know with the holidays coming up, it might change a little bit since we're out and doing family functions. Um, but we try to stick to the same routine every single night. So I think that's the biggest thing. And we've been doing this routine since she was like four months old. So I think that's what really helped us. What are we gonna do now for two hours? I feel like this is it. Like if we're not super busy, it's just kind of like this two hours till we start the routine. Um, it's just entertaining this little peanut. And I have these leggings on that are so... <laughs> Oh, you the hear sound. <laughs> the, sound. the sound. She's at this stage where literally um, she'll play for, what, 30 seconds, and then she's on to the next thing. We have to keep her very entertained. And then over here we got Mr. Nate. Um, he seems to be a little sleepy today. So I think he's just going to take a nap while we get Poppy situated here. Oh, I thought we were going to get it. I thought we were gonna get it. All right, so this is Poppy's favorite little thing. <laughs> but she's occupied with the mushroom at the moment. We love her bouncer. This keeps us very busy. It's like a safe place we can put her if we need to just <laughs> grab something or do something. Huh. Okay, this isn't my most flattering angle, but Poppy just had a complete meltdown. She, oh, here she is. Hold on, pause the camera. Um, so here we are right now. You want to join the convo? You want to tell them why you're crying? All right, here, this is just... <laughs> this is hard, huh? It's hard. Um, and that's exactly what just happened. She had a huge, hard, solid, nice poo. Um, we've been giving her prunes to help. We didn't realize she loves bananas. Like, bananas are her go-to. Um, but didn't really realize that could, like, back them up or make her constipated. And we noticed she was getting, like, like struggling to go to the bathroom. So we switched to other things. Tonight might be a prunes night because that was a nice, hard, solid poo-poo. But I just feel terrible that she, like, screams and cries when it comes out. Huh. But now this is that awkward time of trying to keep her awake because if she goes down and takes a late nap, she won't go down at like 6, 6.30. Like we try to get her down. And if she takes a quick cat nap on me, like that's totally fine. I just really don't want to put her like down, down in her crib. Um, so this is probably where we will be for the next hour and a half till it's time for dinner. Josh, what are we doing for dinner? You're cooking your own meal, lady. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, well it's been a while Since I've played on my guitar mm. How's that sound, Ab? 
So Abby's back there feeding Poppy, and I got out the old uh, 12 string. I haven't played in a while, but it feels good. Any requests? Let me know. Take me somewhere warm tonight. Take me to your paradise, baby. The only lover in my life, and she's all mine. Yeah, so it's almost four o'clock, so we still have another hour uh, before Poppy eats. Um, and this is pretty rare. Usually she's up and about, but um, she's actually back there taking a little nap on Abby. So uh, I'm utilizing the time. Play some guitar. Alrighty, it is currently like 4.45. We are getting there. Um, <laughs> I look like I got ran over by a bus. Poppy was just eating my hair, chewing on me. She's like at that point where she's getting like super fussy. So I think this is actually gonna be an earlier bedtime routine. Um, because she only took one really long nap today, so she's just like exhausted at this point. Let's see if we can get there. Let's, fingers crossed we can get there. Very good. I know, the foot's in there. Let me see that foot. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is officially dinner time. Who's hungry? How do we feel? Mmm. Who likes prunes? Mmm. And it's so... Oh, sorry. She gets very angry if I don't give it to her fast enough. It's so funny. She always keeps her hands like down in the... The height... Oh! And then she lifts it up as soon as I say that. Mmm. Is it yummy? But it's funny. Like, if I wait too long... She gets so worked up and mad. She's got prunes with a side of snot. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, oh wow. Oh my god. Alrighty, so we're in Poppy's bathroom, about to get her bath started. So it's currently 5.52, you guys saw Josh just prep the bath. She just fell asleep on me downstairs, so we're just gonna jump into this, cause she's so tired. Bath time, bath time, do 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 do. Bath time, bath time, it's time to take a bath. So it's really nice that Josh gives her the bath because that's like their bonding time and I get stuff ready. So I'll go get her Tylenol ready, her vitamin D ready, um, a bottle made because that is the key that I found that for her to sleep through the night, giving her food, a bottle plus nursing her gets her like extra full. Um, so I know that she'll sleep through the night and I feel like that's what's really helped us. You can literally hear her splashing and screaming in there. It's so cute. But you guys know that I actually um, went through my entire freezer stash. So I'm trying to build it back up. I had a little drop in my supply, but it's all good now. Um, so I've just been trying to pump as much as possible. So it's now six o'clock. Oh my God, it's so early, but she's so tired. So um, you can see we kind of adjust to her. Since she only had one nap today, that's why we're starting it so early. But typically we would start around 6.15. So that's how you can see we adjust and read her cues. So I give her about three ounces in a bottle and then I'll give her a full feed on my breast. So I'm not really sure how many ounces that equals out to, but she gets full. That's all I know. Our kitchen is literally a disaster. This is just my corner of breast pump stuff that needs clean to put in the dishwasher, baby stuff. Um, but this is the bottle warmer we use and she only takes a Dr. Brown's bottle. So this is what works for us. Okay, so as I wait for this bottle, I just wanted to give a little bit of um, some advice or if you've been feeling anything. Um, I feel like the number one thing is like mom guilt because as I look around, I could just start crying um, to see how messy our house is right now. And I feel like I can get so hard on myself because the house is such a mess and I feel like we're just constantly, constantly cleaning and doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and I just want to let you know that you're not alone. Like that's... Literally, if you saw our house right now, it is a disaster. There's baby stuff everywhere, but it's okay. 
it is okay. I keep trying to remind myself like, it's okay, you know, we'll clean it up when we can and not stress about it because I just want everything to be spotless now. Um, and I feel like that just really ruins my energy. So to let you know you're not alone if your house is a disaster. Um, even though we both work from home, it's really hard. That's why I really like having an early bedtime for her between six and seven because then I feel like I can get things done. I can do things for myself if that's going to take a shower, doing a uh, skincare routine, just laying in bed or cleaning or just feeling like a person. Like there's some days where I'm on the couch all day with her because she's teething, she's cuddly, she's not feeling good and I'm like I've never wanted to just stand up so much before like I've never wanted to just clean like just literally put airpods in and just clean I've never in my life wanted that till being a mom um, so <laughs> I'm just rambling here so that is why I like an early bedtime because I feel like I can still get things done and still have me time and then also time with Josh because you know, throughout the day, we're like passing the baby around, doing different things. I'm working, he's working. It's like back and forth. So like her down at seven o'clock, we still have like three hours to feel like we're just husband and wife and just like being a couple, just us. So um, that's why I really like this routine and I'm glad that it's working for us. And I hope that you can get some tips and tricks by watching this video in hopes that it will work for you. Okay, so I think she's out of the bathtub. So the bottle is done just in time. So let's go upstairs. Okay, I think it's time to get out. Oh, oh who's done? Who? Who? Yeah. Look who's out of the bath. Look, you she see your fun. bubba. Ooh. Oh, 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 you see your bubba? Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go. Okay. This is the most important part of the routine staying in the nursery. As soon as you get out of the bath to start that routine, stay in the same room. We've been doing this since she was three and a half months old. Um, and I think that's, she knows it's like bedtime, it's coming. So she saw the bottle early and that's why I had to give it to her right now. But we got the diaper on, we're gonna do lotion, then we're gonna get her dressed, brush her hair. The bottle will probably be done by then. And then we'll change her sheets, make sure she gets her Tylenol because she's teething. And then we'll start nursing. And that is the routine every single night. <laughs> Okay, so it is 6.18 and she is ready to nurse and I have my thing to turn my hatch on, the sound machine, I'll turn the, oh, good burp. I'll turn the light on and hopefully she'll be out in the next 10, 15 minutes. You ready? Yeah, she ready to nurse. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, it is currently 6.35 and she is out. Show her on the iPad. She's out. So that is pretty much our nighttime routine. And we do it the same way every, every night. night. And it's so funny now because Josh knows it. Like at first, I don't think I really explained it. But I was just like, hey, we need to get a routine. And now he's like, five o'clock, food, six o'clock, bath. So sometimes we eat before bath. Mm -hmm. um, but tonight, it was just a long day. So we're going to go down. We're going to cook some food, enjoy a nice dinner, mm -hmm. maybe watch a show. Yep, watch a new show. Maybe I'll get a couple Call of Duty games in. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> See, uh, maybe a small glass of wine. We don't know. Um, I think our best advice for getting a baby to go down at this time is just sticking to a routine. And if you're at like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock now, just moving it up, what, like 10, 15 minutes? Because yeah. Poppy's bedtime was like 9.30 at one point. Um, we just kept slowly, slowly inching it. So we just kept moving it up and up. Um, but please, if you have any questions, any, um, advice, any sure. advice, let us know in the comments below. So like Josh said, we're gonna eat dinner and I'll probably scroll TikTok. I'll probably play Call of Duty. I'll get one more pump in. I'll, I'll pump right before I go to bed. And then she'll wake up between six and seven. Um, on the dot. On the dot, literally. She And she's down to her teen. I think now we're really hungry. I'm hungry. It's a combination. I'm actually pretty tired tonight, <laughs> I'm really so hungry. Maybe it'll be an early night to bed, but um, who knows? We'll put on a good show and we'll see where the night takes us. But thank you guys for tuning in yes. and watching. If you have not, please give this video a thumbs up, a like. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Uh -huh. And uh, we hope you enjoyed the new intro. Yeah. Um, if you saw that, you know, a lot of work. My hand's getting that. tired. We gotta, we gotta hurry up. <laughs> All right. Um, so good night, guys. We love you. Love you. And good we'll night. see you next time. See you next week. Okay.